Monday, April 15th. This is a very sad couple days. News. Mar Mari Emanuel was stabbed live on video during one of his sermons. The good news is he is in stable condition. Looks like he's going to pull through. It's a good news here, but obviously this is a very horrible act that was committed against him. Now, this is the bishop, the holy man that was stabbed today. So what, you're a prime minister? So what, you're a president? President. So what you're a king? So what you're a church leader? Stop enslaving people. Spoke the truth. And enough lies. Enough lockdowns. This is slavery. And enough so-called corona. It can be treated. And it's Genuine happiness to see the Christians finally angry about something. You sit around and turn the other cheek. It is weak. And when I see Christians mad for the first time in a long time, although I'm no longer Christian, it makes me feel happy. Sometimes it is unbearable. But in a way, you need to thank God. You know why? Because if you're getting attacked, that means Christ is really very close with you, in you, Amen. and walking Amen. along with you. That's why Amen. you are getting on Satan's nerve. Yes. Satan will not attack someone who is lost. Satan will only attack those whom Christ is dwelling in them with mightiness. So when you are getting attacked so heavily, thank the Lord because it is a very, very clear sign that Jesus is with you. That's why you are making Satan eat Indian hot pepper. So thank the Lord and say, Lord, it's very unbearable this trial that you're with me. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Psalm 23. For you are with me. Pray for him that he recovers and everybody that got injured recovers. And realize Christians of all denominations are under attack. There was a video I put out, which I can find it right now, that showed a woman attacking a priest on stage. Churches being burnt. Thank God, finally. Yeah, this is what we're up against. Churches being burnt. Other ministers being killed. Now, for the last couple of days since Saturday, the Schumann residence been off the wall. This here, this spike right here, uh, 1 o'clock, or well, 6, 8 hours ago, just probably during the time late on the 14th, we had this spike. Remember this divine light from the, from the heaven. Don't know where it's coming from. Many have speculated it comes from the, the sun, center of the galaxy, center of the universe. Who knows where it's coming from, but it's a divine light. And it's penetrating our planet still today. Are we being sent a message? Absolutely. A message is to wake up, open your eyes, and see what's happening. Pray for him that he recovers soon. God bless him. He is the numero uno. He comes from, the, if you look at the denomination, the Assyrian Church of the East. That's his church, basically founded in the first century AD from uh, the Middle East, Syria, Iraq, Iran, Turkey. And the language is Aramaic and Assyrian. There's a lot of history here. I mean, this is the church that basically was, was founded by the Apostle Thomas. Bartholomew. So basically, after Christ's resurrection, told him to spread out and preach. Thomas and this, these apostles stayed in that area. So this church has been around since the beginning. And I've listened to that bishop, the holy man, and he speaks the truth. He said, you can find him on YouTube, you can find him on Facebook. It's not connected with the Catholic Church. They're not been corrupted like the, the other churches have. This is why it's being attacked. Pray for him. Time to stand up and shine the light. Until next time, Beth Father out.